Hello guys, it's Quaker back with a video, and today we are talking about part two of the six Annie. So we just got part one about two weeks ago, and we are currently six days away from part two of the sixth anniversary. So we're gonna go over three things. We're gonna go over when we can expect uh, the reveals and stuff, and obviously the release, what characters, and the banner format. So first we're going to start with when we can expect it. I'm pretty sure most people know that the anniversary part 2 is starting on the 19th. The reviews and stuff is going to air on the 18th. Uh, we should get a reveals and stuff announcement on Saturday or Sunday. It's usually Sunday that they, re they uh, announce the reveals and stuff. So yeah. Uh, Everybody knows it's gonna be on the 19th, so there's not much to talk about with that. So let's move on to the fun part, which is the characters. So right now we actually don't really know what could be coming at this point. Like bro, I mean not bro. Hulk. Uh DB Legends is kind of throwing us in circles, like they're they're giving us powerful opponent buffs, they're giving us hybrid sand buffs, they're giving us future buffs, they're giving us god key buffs, and then they just gave us a Dragon Ball free to play character, so things are really confusing right now. But looking at the buffs we've been getting, I can kind of infer that we will most likely be getting a uh, future or powerful opponent buffs just from what I see. And what is most likely is probably gonna be future or powerful opponent or probably God Key, also. So also, Ultra UI came back on a banner and also Ultra Hit came back. Then that was followed by Ultra Gohan's banner coming back, Ultra Super Vegito, and Ultra Super Gogeta. So it's it's very confusing right now. But I'm still sticking to the agenda that we're getting future bus because we did just get a Zamasu Zenkai and a Vegito Blue Plat. I just think that future makes the most sense. They haven't gotten buffed in basically a year. I think the last time they got buffed was that uh, purple cell, the exploding cell. And yeah, so future's like really dead right now. Uh, I mean, Zamasu Zenkai is, it was kind of good for it, but still, we need at least like two characters. Like we need a, I think we need a purple and we need a green character. Ultra Jose is like i'm sorry but ultra Jose is so bad like he he aids pretty bad in my opinion uh we just, we just really need a new green right now ultra Jose, he just doesn't have cover in the hole he doesn't tank he's not really offering anything he doesn't do that much damage because he's a ramp up character so you're not going to be seeing those numbers until later into the match so i'm pretty sure future would get the buffs and what I'm expecting, so I'm not expecting another fusion character, but I feel like a fusion warrior character is not off the table. Uh, I I think it's either going to be a fusion Zamasu or a tag rose and Zamasu. That just makes the most sense, to be honest. Uh, so I was thinking that they could do a revival merge Zamasu into half corrupted Zamasu. That would be a really good banner, to be honest. Uh, also, they could do a tag Rose and Zamasu, obviously. I see people tossing around a fusing Rose and Zamasu. I don't really think they're going to do another fusing mechanic. If they do, that's going to be crazy, and I'm going to be hyped as heck, but I just don't think that's happening. Also, something that was being thrown around before uh, the any even release was a tag trunks and gohan the game originals i feel like game originals are still not off the table that's probably something that we could also get but i can't really speculate about game originals because i have no idea what they could do obviously like the ideas are limitless they like they can literally do anything at this point so i, I don't i really don't know what to predict for that but i do feel like it's going to be either future or game originals if that's what i could count on but let's talk about something that's a big issue right now that people are really scared about is the banner format. Last celebration, which was Legends Festival 2023, we got a horrible banner format for part two. We got the limited rising banner format 
And it's safe to say that was probably one of the worst formats in history, probably top three worst formats. Like that's on the level of a ultra rising bad. Like it was bad. Uh so people are really scared that they're gonna bring back that format and I can't completely rule out that they aren't gonna bring it back because obviously they they probably made a lot of money off that banner because I know people still summon for Goku and Bardock because it's Goku and Bardock and since the banner was literally scamming you in your face like you had to know that banner was scamming you summoning on it so they were literally scamming you right in your face so I know they are probably going to bring that back since they made so much money off of it. Which is kind of sad, but like, I I can't say that they're not going to bring it back. Uh, so yeah, let me know. What do you guys want for part 3? Uh, I'm really on that Rosane Tomasu agenda. Also, let me know how much CC you guys got. See you guys in the next